We have to start with breaking news at Niagara Falls. Hello, I'm David Ushery. I'm Natalie Pascarella, the FBI investigating a car that crashed and exploded at the border crossing. That's between the U.S. and Canada. We've got some exclusive video showing the car go airborne right there and crash into the checkpoint at the Rainbow Bridge in Niagara Falls. Then cell phone video showing heavy flames at that checkpoint. Right now, several border crossings are closed. We've got live team coverage on the investigation. Let's get upstairs to News 4's Chris Glorioso. Chris? Well, still so many questions about this fiery crash. Chief among them, was this intentional or was this an accident? Without an answer to that, police in Ontario closed border crossings in the whole Niagara region, urgently warning drivers to stay away. We have major issues happening right now at the U.S. borders in the Niagara region. The spectacular car crash along the U.S.-Canada border unfolded in the early afternoon, and given global tensions about terrorism, it sent law enforcement scrambling. NBC New York has obtained video showing a white sedan speeding on the U.S. side of the border. Then it hits something and goes airborne. Upon landing, it explodes into flames. Both people inside killed. It was a ball of fire, like 30, 40 feet high. I've never seen anything like it. It was really in incredible. This witness told NBC's Buffalo affiliate that he saw the vehicle speeding from the United States side of the Rainbow Bridge toward the Canadian side. But when it swerved to pass a slower vehicle, it hit something and flew into the air. And he was flying over 100 miles an hour. There was a car in front of him. He swerved out, went in front of the car, hit the fence, went flying up into the air. He had to, I think there was an elevation part. He went up into the air and we just seen the fireball and that's all we could see. It was just covered in smoke. Questions about the fiery crash immediately prompted border officials to close not just the Rainbow Bridge, but several other bridges spanning the Canadian border. First responders found no immediate indication of any explosive device inside or around the vehicle wreckage. Governor Kathy Hochul said she was aware of the incident, posting on social media. I'm traveling to Buffalo to meet with law enforcement and emergency responders, and I will update New Yorkers when more information becomes available. Mayor Eric Adams also issuing a statement this afternoon stressing New York City already has a heightened security environment and is monitoring the events in Buffalo. Aside from the two occupants of the vehicle, NBC is told a Customs and Border Protection officer suffered minor injuries that did not require hospitalization. Still lots of questions. Back to you. Chris, thanks for the latest there. We want to get to Chief Investigative Reporter Jonathan Deans. He's been digging into the investigation to just what happened here. John, what do you know? Well, we know that car was traveling at a high rate of speed, hit some sort of barrier and went airborne. And they're now looking into whether that fire, that explosion was the result of the gas tank rupturing upon impact and that that is what caused the explosion and the fire due to the high rate of speed. We are told from multiple law enforcement sources that so far there is no indication there were any explosives or explosive devices uh, with that vehicle, uh, that it just appears to be an explosion based on the impact. And again, there you see the huge fireball and that not much remained of the vehicle or the what is believed to be the two occupants inside. Uh, they are still trying to work on identifying uh, who was inside of that vehicle. You see that's a photo from the scene of what was left. Uh, again, this happening on the border area. All hands on deck, federal, state, local law enforcement on scene, trying to determine exactly how and why this crash occurred. Again, nothing to indicate terrorism at this time, but they are investigating any and all possibilities given the blast scene uh, that is taking place uh, uh, at the border. The NYPD is holding a briefing later this afternoon just on overall security for the Thanksgiving holiday, uh, and they have sent officers to the scene, and there'll be an update from the NYPD uh, in the next hour or so. We're also waiting to hear from the governor, state police, and customs officials up uh, in the Niagara Falls area as they learn more. But again, the investigation very much underway into why that car was speeding, perhaps as fast as 100 miles an hour as it approached the checkpoint, flew in the air, and then exploded upon impact. Back to you.
during these tense times getting even added scrutiny. Chief Investigator Porter Jonathan Deans, we thank you. We know you'll get back on the phone with your sources, and we'll monitor the situation throughout the evening. We'll update you on any new information when we get it. You can always go to our website or get alerts on the free NBC4 New York app.